what is up guys it's Luke back here with another video and today we are picking the ATP 2022 Barcelona Open draw so first we have Ilya Avashka going up against Pedro Martinez and I like Pedro Martinez to get out of this one Ilya Avashka has not been having a great season now Marcus Garon and Correa as I mentioned in my previous video Garon started this season very well but just has not played well since uh the Australian Open and Miami, uh, sorry, Australian Open and the Houston Indoors. So I'm going to go with uh, Federico Correa. Juame Munar going up against Arthur Rindernesh. I love to pick Rindernesh here. I'm going to give him the win. Now, Sun Wu Kwan up against Benoit Pair. I think Sun Wu is going to get that. Adrian Manorino going up against Ramos Vinyas. Ramos Vinyas setting up another matchup with Nori in the second round of a tournament. That should be interesting as Ramos Vinyas won that this week in Monte Carlo. Fushevic over Thompson. Uh, Ugo Umber is struggling so much. I'm going to go with Pablo Andujar. And I'm going to go with Lloyd Harris barely over Carballas Benya. But Lloyd Harris really not having a great season this year. Now I'm going to go with Mackie McDonald to beat a qualifier. Musetti and Baez. I think I could go with Baez here. Uh, should I go with Baez here? He beat Musetti on indoor hard. A bit more of an aggressive player than Musetti. Uh, but I did pick Musetti to go far last week. What I'm going to go with Baez. You know what? I just think that this is a good matchup for him. Now, Alejandro Davidovic Fakina, a finalist in Monte Carlo. We'll see if he can win it tomorrow. Davidovic over a qualifier. Corda and a qualifier. I'm going to go with Corda. I think Tommy Robredo getting a bit old. I'm going to go with the qualifier. Max Cressy not playing the best. I'm going with the qualifier. I'm going with ML Rusavori and Brandon Nakashima. Now for round two, we'll start at the bottom. I like Kasper Ruud to advance past Nakashima. Then I think Rusevori will get past Bublik. Rusevori, great player, all-around player. Uh, his backhand is one of the uh, fastest ones on the tour. His forehand, um, it's not as good as the backhand, but still he can create good angles with it. So I do like him to advance. I'll go with Sonigo over a qualifier and Car Carreño Busta over a qualifier. Then I'm going to take Corda over Felix. Corda, uh, I think he's going to get another good win. He has so many good wins, just never seems to be able to break through and get to like the finals or semis of Masters 1000, but we'll see with this draw here. Now we got Francis Tiafo and Davidovich Fakina. Davidovich Fakina will be tired from that week in Monte Carlo, but I think he'll be able to beat Big Foe, who isn't the best on clay. Now, Schwartzman over McDonald, and I'm going to go with, this could be a good match, but I'm going to go with Baez over Evans. I think Baez is a great player, and I think he can make round of 16. Now we got Harris and Bautista Gut. I'm going to go with Bautista Gut. Uh, Deminar over Andujar. I think Fushevich will get the win over Del Bonis. I think, think he's more of a solid player. Uh, Nori will beat Ramos Vinyalas this time. I like Alcaraz to beat Kwan. I'm going to go with Rindernish to beat Basilashvili. Basilashvili has been very inconsistent this year. Tsitsipas over Pedro Martinez. And I'm going to go with Grigor over Correa. Now, an interesting here, thing here is that Tsitsipas might pull out of this event if he wins Monte Carlo, but we're just going to assume that he's not going to pull out. So Tsitsipas and Dimitrov, I do think Tsitsipas will get through and set up another match with Alcaraz. This should be interesting as he's 0-2 against the Spaniard. Nori and Fushevic, I think Nori will get this one. And then Deminar and Bautista, I'm going with Deminar. I think uh, the clay suits his game pretty well. He can uh, run down a lot of balls. So Deminar into the quarters. I think Schwartzman will reach the quarters, and I think he'll face Sebastian Corda. I think with this draw for Sebi, I think this is a good draw for him, and I think he could go far. Carreño Busta and Sonigo. I'm going with Carreño Busta and Rude over Rusevori. Now I'm going to go with Rude over Carreño Busta. 
and I'm going to go with Corda over Schwartzman. I just think that Corda, he'll be able to break through here. I don't know if Schwartzman's at the best stage in his career, and Corda is very good on clay, won his first ATP title in Parma. So Corda and Rude in the semis. Now Alcaraz and Tsitsipas. I just think Tsitsipas is in such good form, but the numbers don't lie, and Alcaraz, I think, can get through this one. Nori and Deminar. I'm going to go with Nori to make the semifinals. Another Alcaraz and Nori, and Alcaraz leads this head-to-head. -head. He dominated Nori at U.S. Open, dominated him in Indian Wells. I do think Alcaraz will get to the finals. And I think he will face none other than Sebastian Corda in an all-next-gen final. I really like Corda's game on clay. He's super consistent, and I think he could do something great here. Um, but then eventually, who's it going to be, Alcaraz or Corda? And I think it's going to be Alcaraz, unfortunately, for Corda. So Alcaraz, the winner for me. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.